Hello and welcome to module 4 of Authors Training and Support. In this module, we are going to discuss about ethical guidelines and policies. As an author, it is important to uphold the high ethical integrity and standards in your work. Ethical guidelines and policies not only contribute to your credibility and reputation, but also ensure your respect and give you the rights uh, and well-beings of the others. As an author, you should keep the following parameters in the mind. Originality and plagiarism, supplementary materials, funding and acknowledgements, author contributions, data availability statement, conflict of interest, citations and reference accuracy, and the last data manipulation, research and publication ethics also. So, let's discuss each and every parameter one by one in an elaborative manner in the upcoming session. Now, originality and plagiarism. Before submission of the manuscript, authors should ensure that their work is original and their own creation. If previously published content is also used in their creation, it should not be copy-pasted as it is and it should be paraphrased and cited properly within their paper. Plagar plagiarized content should not be used in the paper and we consider reuse of others' own published content without citing as a form of self-plagiarism. Then author contributions. Plagiarism checking tools. Plagiarism can be checked by some detectors before submission as we at IP Innovative offers Turnitin authenticated version for checking plagiarism. As you can see in the picture, we can detect the duplicacy of submitted work and we can get to know about the original source of the content also. Then, author's contributorship. Author contributorship is very important and crucial parameter as authors are required to include a statement of responsibility to have made substantial contribution to the conception or design of the work. It is defined as the acquisition, analysis and interpretation of the data or drafting the work and substantively revising it. Authorship must include and be limited to those who have contributed substantially to the work. Figures, facts, charts, etc. should be interpreted accurately and originally if they are from previously published data. Funding and acknowledgement. All source of funding grants and institutional support should be acknowledged in the manuscript. This may include administration and technical support or donations in kind of people, grants, funds, etc. It should be placed in a separate section on the title page of the manuscript and repeated before references also. In addition, authors need to provide the funding information in a separate step while submitting of the manuscript. Then, funding information will be published as searchable metadata of the accepted article where acknowledgements are published on the page. Citations accuracy. Before submitting a paper, authors should ensure that the citations and references are correct and updated. New references should be included in the paper and relevant and credible sources should be cited properly to add the credibility of the research. It involves providing details regarding where data supporting reported results can be found, including links to publicly archived databases, data sets analyzed or generated. Apart from this, now we will be discussing about data manipulation. It is the intentional distortion of data in order to present false and wrong research integrities to provide evidences to your paper. Then, data manipulation, intentional distortion of data again. And it includes a statement of responsibility to make substantial contribution to the conception or design of work and negotiation, etc. Figures, facts, charts, etc. should be interpreted accurately and originally. And manipulated data should not be uh, considered as a normal offense as it is very criminal offense to manipulate somebody's data or somebody's published work. Then, conflict of interest. Authors must disclose any conflict of interest in the form of financial or personal support or interest that may be recognized and determine the presentation or interpretation of reported research results. The statement should reflect all the collected potential conflict of interest disclosure in the form 
and if in case no conflicts exist, the author should state that they declare no conflict of interest. Supplementary materials. Supplementary materials are the additional materials or data provided by authors to, complete, to complement their main research manuscript. We do not publish supplementary materials, but they are just to support their original work. These materials should not be included in the main body of the paper, but should be provided alongside the publication. And before submission of research data sets as electronic supplementary material, authors should read the journals. We encourage research data to be archived in data repositories wherever possible. Last but not least, there is research and publication ethics. Two major parameters of author ethical standards can be known as research and publication ethics. Research ethics can be defined as rules and regulations that govern the research conducts involving human subjects, animals, and the use of data. Publication ethics can be defined as the principles and standards that govern the publication and dissemination of research finding in the scientific journals. When animals are used for research, the studies have been approved by a research ethics committee at the institution or practice at which studies were conducted. Informed consent should be attached if the research involves animals. Thank you so much for being a part of this session. For more details, you can visit our website www.ipinnovative.com slash guidelines slash author. And for more details, visit www.mprb.in. Thank you.